Today is August 4th. Pastor is saying to us, the practical understanding of worship. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 9. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. In the New Testament, it may surprise you to know that the use of the term worship is hardly applied to Christians. Of course, you find the term used in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But in the Gospels, Jesus dealt with Jews, not Christians. In the book of Acts, worship is used about four times, and in none of those occasions was it really applied to the church. Then you find the word only used once in 1 Corinthians and twice in Hebrews. However, when you go into the book of Revelation, worship is used about 22 times. How could such a thing that we say is so important be missing in the epistles? You may wonder. It's because in the epistles, the Lord is actually giving us a practical understanding of worship. He tells us exactly what worship is. Remember, in John chapter 4, verse 24, he had said, God is a spirit, and they that worship, Greek, proskuneo, him must worship him in spirit, and in truth. So, in the epistles, instead of the term worship, the Apostle Paul gives us a particular phrase in our theme verse which sufficiently cooperates the words of Jesus in John chapter 4 verse 24. It's the phrase, serve with my spirit. Serving God with your spirit includes worship, because worship in the New Testament is different from worship in the Old Testament. The Old Testament it was mostly outward in nature, but in the New Testament, it's spiritual, even in the cases where we have outward demonstrations. This is why it's important to understand that what matters in the worship isn't that we worshiped, it's rather the one that we worship accepted it. There's a conditioning of your spirit through the Word of God, through the fellowship of the Holy Spirit that makes your spirit a worshiper. The Father seeks such to worship him. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, thank you for the privilege to express my love for you. I bless you for your greatness, kindness, love, mercies, and grace. You are the governor among the nations, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. I offer to you today my sacrifice of praise the fruit of my lips, giving you thanks for all you've done through your church in these last days and even the greater works ahead. Be magnified continually in Jesus' name. Amen. For further study, please read Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, John chapter 4, verses 23 to 24, and Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Romans chapter 8, verses 1 to 17, and Psalms chapters 68 to 69. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Ephesians chapter 5, verses 25 to 33, and Isaiah chapter 55. Rhapsody of reality.